so i think some of the network was gone there okay so we are continuing so we are discussing here non uniqueness of the set of the state variable okay so in this case you can see here i have repeating once again so there is a no unique method to represent the any state space uh, equation right so we can take the we can represent there are so many methods uh, there are so many equations uh, the state space representation of a of the single system you can say right so how that can be the written so one of the method you have already started that is the simply x dot is equals to a x plus b u and y is equals to c x okay another method is to we just have we use the transformation method we will use the transformation method how that transformation method will use we will discuss right now okay so just we have taken this x1 uh, x1 cap is equals to function of this x2 cap is equals to x this so humne kya kiya x cap is equals to px likh denge x cap is equals to px hai so let's say ki x dot is equals to ax plus bu hai so now what we have will do we will just represent x is equals to you can p inverse x cap x is equals to you can write p inverse x cap yes or no so with the help of this transformation we can use we can represent the another 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 state space technique uh, state method okay so you can see how the eigen value of the any of the matrix can be calculated we already know if the if the if the you know the, the root are different then you can say the eigen value are distinct or not if it is repetitive then what happened we will see okay what happened to the rank what happened to the matrix we will discuss later right when the problem will come and the our problem of the non uniqueness is we are we are discussing was there why triple dot what we have done all early in the previous the previous example is this one the consider the previous example y triple dot plus 6y double dot plus 11y dot plus 6y is equals to 6u right <coughs> so you know how this uh, differential <coughs> equation is represented into the state space right we have already done so by the previous solution we can say the x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot is equals to this one kar sakte hai aisa yes or no yes or no we can represent it all yes, all into this one okay so non the, the the non uniqueness theory states that it is not only it is not only this this representation is not only the state equation possible for the system okay this is not only the state equation possible for the system for the system right so is it any another method yes obviously yes we will try to search that answer so what we have done here suppose now we are going to define a set of new state variable set of new state variable that is z1 z2 and z3 because yahan teen hai to humne yahan bhi kya liya z1 z2 z3 right z1 z2 z3 based on z1 z2 z3 ab isko kaise lenge so with the help of some transformation technique we will apply we will apply some transformation technique right so there are so many there are so many type uh, you can say the transformation method are there we will discuss later that is the jordan method and different types of the diagonalization right so transformation we will discuss later so one of any let's say ki by the any method we have transform and we retain the matrix like this one x1 is equals to let's say humne kaise bhi likh diya kuch der ke liye maan lete hain ki ye kuch hamara transformation hai x1 x2 x3 is equals to this matrix into z1 z2 z3 हो गया ना भाई x कैप है जो कस टू पी एक्स या सब हो गया ना तो इस तरह से हमने मान लिया <coughs> तो व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज x है जो कस टू पी जेड x है जो कस टू क्या बेटा पी जेड राइट वेयर पी इज दिस मैट्रिक्स पी इज दिस मैट्रिक्स ओके और आप साथ में ये भी देख रहे हैं कि अगर आप इसको कुछ इस तरीके से लिखे क्या लिखेंगे दिस इज द x3 डॉट दिस इज द x3 डॉट है जो कस टू 6u माइनस ऑफ 6 x1 minus 11 x2 minus 6 x3 या सुनो लिख सकते हैं क्या यस सर ओके यस सर सो यू कैन राइट हेयर यू कैन रिटर्न हेयर x3 डॉट इज इक्वल्स टू 6 minus 6 x1 minus 11 x2 minus 6 x3 plus 6 u एंड x2 डॉट इज इक्वल्स टू x3 x1 डॉट इज इक्वल्स टू x2 
we can write here, right? right? <coughs> so this is nothing but the x dot is equals to ax plus bu and y is equals to nothing but the cx. So this equation become now because you know x is equals to you have written the pz. So when you x is equals to pz just put this value to so becomes pz dot is equals to a pz plus bu. Is it clear? Any doubt in this equation? Any doubt in this equation? Yeah, bolo bhai, hai na? No sir. So what is the z dot? Z dot is equals to p inverse a p z. P a either aega. P inverse, right? P inverse or ye chala gaya p inverse. Thik? P inverse. So p inverse a p, p inverse b u. Okay? Now what is the Okay, so when you solve this equation now, z1 dot, z2 dot, z3 dot, okay, is <coughs> equals to, what is P inverse? What is P? P matrix is already, you know, you know P matrix, 1, 1, 1, sorry, 1, 1, sorry, this is the 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 4, 9. Okay. So you can calculate the P inverse matrix. Yes or no? How the P may, what is the, what is the P, what is the formula for the P inverse? What is the, how the inverse matrix can be calculated? Please tell me, let me know. Divide by determinant of P. Yes, very good. So you can calculate, right? So when you calculate, the final result will come 3, 2.5, 0 0.5, okay, minus 3, minus 4, minus 1, 1, 1.5, 0 0.5. So this is the P inverse, right? I am just writing here. So P inverse is 3, 2.5, 0 0.5, minus 3, minus 4, minus 1, 1, 1.5, 0 0.5. So this is the P inverse, right? What is A? What is the A matrix? A matrix also you know. A matrix also 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 6, minus 11, minus 6. And what is the P matrix? What is the P matrix? Again you know. P matrix is again you know. 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 4, 9. So this is the Z1, Z2, 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 Z3. Am I right? So you can multiply these three matrices <coughs> plus P inverse B. So P inverse B, you can write here. So the P inverse B, P inverse is 3, 2.5, 0 0.5, minus 3, minus 4, minus 1, 1, 1.5, 0 0.5. B is matrix is 0, 0, 6, right? and u okay so when you solve this equation all this calculation okay so you can finally you will write z1 dot z2 dot z3 dot equals to 1 sorry minus 1 0 0 0 minus 2 0 0 0 minus 3 so you can see this is the diagonalization z1 z2 z3 plus 3 minus 6 3 u right so same equation hai, same state state same system hai. just we have using the transformation method and represented in the another type of the state equation right another type of the state equation you can say the mod it is the modified to the <coughs> diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix. Consa. Yes or no? And how the output equation can be modified? The output equation. The output equation is modified as y is equals to kya jaga, yes? Y is equals to y is equals to cx. Yes or no? And what is x? X is equals to yes, please. Let me know. X is equals to Pz. 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 Yes or no? So y becomes now 
C is one zero zero. P you know P matrix already you know one 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 minus one minus two minus three one four nine. Z matrix Z one Z two Z three. Okay. Based on that, <coughs> you can again calculate <coughs> y, and y becomes you know one 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 Z one Z two Z three Z one Z two Z three. So this is the beauty of the transformation, right? So you can represent the same system by the using the by the transformation method in the other. Okay. So it is the non-uniqueness of the state variable. So you can say here diagonal elements, diagonal elements of the matrix, matrix P inverse A P, are identical, are identical with three eigen value. ध्यान से देखिए जरा. With three eigen value of A. अभी जो आपने कुछ देर पहले कैलकुलेट किया था आइगन वैल्यू यू कैन सी हेयर द आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम यू कैन सी यस द आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन वाज माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री एग्री यस नो द आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन ऑफ ये जो है ये है क्या यही तो है सेम है ए मैट्रिक्स ही तो है और ए मैट्रिक्स का जो आइगन वैल्यू आ रहा है इफ यू आर लुकिंग इनटू द ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड स्टेट इक्वेशन ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड स्टेट इक्वेशन यू कैन सी हेयर दिस इज आइगन वैल्यू यस नो सो इफ यू नो द आइगन वैल्यू इज यू कैन इट मींस यू कैन डायरेक्टली रिप्रेजेंट द यू नो द द स्टेट इक्वेशन इफ यू नो द B matrix, or you can say this matrix, right? Clear? So it means eigen value, eigen value of A and P inverse A P are identical. Yes or no? Are identical. So this is the case of the non-uniqueness. So you are free to ask any problem.